we're here to give you some valuable tips on installing a new VDO cooling fan assembly with an electronic module. And these tips are worth watching because they can prevent damage to the electronic module that comes as part of most late model cooling fan assemblies. The first time many technicians replace a late model fan assembly, they figure it's a simple electronic component replacement. And unfortunately, many fan assembly modules are ruined because of a lack of knowledge of how modern fan assemblies work. And that brings us to our first tip. Do not bench test a fan assembly equipped with an electronic module prior to installation. Fan assembly control modules require a specific electronic signal and voltage from the ECU. Using a generic 12-volt power source will cause irreversible damage to the module and fan. So do not use an external power source to bench test the fan before installing. But before you start, do check the vehicle's year, make, model, and engine type to make sure you have the right fan. The VIN is the best way to get this info right. Okay, now we're sure we have the right part number and we're ready to install. With the vehicle power off, disconnect the negative or ground cable from the battery. And yes, this will result in loss of some driver preference information, such as radio presets, clock, and seat adjustment. So be prepared for potential resets if this occurs. Next, check to make sure that the electrical connectors and wires are in good condition and free of any oxidation or deformation on the terminals or sockets. Now, the installation for every make and model is different, so we're not going to try to cover every scenario here. But always make sure that the pins are inserted properly and connectors are fully engaged when reconnecting the wire harness. Next, using an OEM-approved diagnostic tool, reset the central ECU on the vehicle in order to clear any previous failure codes related to the fan assembly. Not resetting the ECU will result in a failure of the module and the fan assembly, so do not forget this step. Finally, after the new VDO cooling fan assembly has been installed, inspect the cooling system for leaks and ensure the coolant is at the factory recommended level. Now you can reconnect the battery cables and start the engine, turn on the AC, and check that the fan comes on. Now you're up and running with your new VDO cooling fan assembly with module. Proper engine cooling system maintenance is critical to vehicle service life, so we hope this video helps you keep everything running the way it should. Thank you for watching.